when it rains, we get a lot of water. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get stormwater backup. So it's gonna back up into people's homes or basements. It's gonna overflow manholes. You don't want sewer backups. You don't want raw sewage overflows. Hi, my name is Sarah Gable. I am an assistant civil engineer here at Burns and McDonald. We're here at the headquarters in Kansas City, Missouri. The program that we work on for the city is a 25-year program and it's about uh, four to five billion dollars worth of sewer upgrades that are going to be happening over the next 25 years. Civil engineers deal with all of the infrastructure around you. We keep buildings from falling down. We design roads, traffic systems, and for me, most importantly, we work with water. So we're getting ready to go down into the manhole so that we can get some readings for how much flow is going through there. What I do is I work with the collection systems. We keep your water clean, we deliver it to your house, you use it, you flush it down the toilet, and then we actually collect all that water back, take it back to the treatment plant, and clean it again. As long as we can keep the stormwater from ever coming in contact with the sanitary sewer water, we don't actually have to treat it. It can go straight into your stream, straight into your river. Right now, Stephen is measuring the physical velocity of the flow. Kansas City, Missouri, they've so far identified 280 million gallons of rainwater getting into the sanitary sewer system, and that's not good. One of the projects I'm working on is looking at reducing that. Right here, we've got 16 million gallons of stormwater that's been identified in the sanitary sewer system. We've been able to remove 15 million gallons from the system. And that number alone is going to save the city several million dollars. Hey, Deborah, do you have a second to talk about how the flow measuring results are coming in? Sure. A lot of my time is spent looking at data, what is in the ground, and how we can use what we know about what's in the ground to improve the system moving forward. This is ArcGIS. I love it. I'm in it pretty much every day. For me, it's absolutely vital for my job. All of the little dots are all the manholes and storm inlets, Esri and GIS basically allows us to map everything. Let me show you on the map where we're at and all the meters that we have in the ground. If we zoom in here, this is the manhole that we are at currently. And here in the city, we have miles and miles and miles of pipe networks, hundreds and hundreds of manholes. If we can know what's in the ground and where it's at, that's really, really important for us to properly design what we need to fix it. The technology that we are using out there is the collector app that Esri produces for their ArcGIS. I have a Bachelor's of Science degree in Civil Engineering with an environmental focus from the University of Missouri. If you want to be a Civil Engineer, you absolutely have to have a degree of at least a Bachelor's of Science. A lot of people have their Master's as well. If you're good at math and you're good at science and you like them, that's a huge indicator that you'll actually be really good engineer. But do not forget those English classes. I spend a lot of time writing and communicating. Something that's going to make you stand out as an engineer someday is if you can actually explain uh, what the problem is and what the solution should be. And then once you're in college, get internships. I actually did three different internships before I came to Burns & McDonald. Civil engineering is a great way to get a good paying job right out of school. I'm four years into my career and I already own my own house. You can go pretty much anywhere with engineering. There's actually more CEOs of Fortune 500 companies that have an engineering degree than any other major. Absolutely, I love my job. I get to deal with big picture in how your water stays clean, how the public stays healthy. I'm making a difference in the world and I love what I do.